Welcome friends. Thank you for joining in once again. Uh, we're talking about being firm in God and we've understood that it's so important to stand strong um, because there are different seasons in life and not just that, we also have a very active enemy who uh, wants to rise up against us and bring us down uh, as believers. Uh, but today I want to talk about a quality which will um, help us stand st strong in the midst of a storm and that quality is called as courage. We are uh, called to have courage in life and the way courage is spelt is F-A-I-T-H, faith. Now, faith gives us the courage that we need to do what God is calling us to do. God calls us to do things which are beyond us and beyond our evaluation of ourselves. Uh, and so when there is a call of God on our lives or, uh, you know, if God calls us to do a particular assignment in a season of our lives, uh, if we just go by our own thinking and our own ability, we will never be able to do. A wonderful example is that uh, found in Matthew chapter 14, when Jesus calls Peter to walk on the water. Jesus just says, come. Uh, and then, you know, uh, we see that it was only Peter uh, who steps out on the water. The word of God is powerful. And what did God, what did Jesus say when Peter asked if he could um, join him on the water? He gave an open invitation and he just said, come. Now there were other disciples on the boat as well. Now imagine with me, Jesus gave an open invitation and he did not say Peter come, but he said, come. Now it is possible that any one of the disciples could have had faith in the word of God and stepped out on the water just like Peter. But it was only Peter who had the courage to step out. And it took faith to step out. It took faith to believe that he will be able to walk on water, which is supernatural, which is miraculous, which is just the way you know, Jesus uh, was walking on water at that point in time. How did Peter get this courage? Because he had faith in the word of God. And today, friends, you know, we as believers, the word of God is our food. The word of God is our standard. The word of God gives us our instruction. The word of God carries the Zoe or the life of God in it. And as God speaks to us day after day and calls us, you know, uh, to um, all that he has for us in Christ Jesus, it's going to take faith on our part to say, God, I'm fine. I'm willing to take one step. And notice, Peter took one step out of the boat and then he realized that he was actually walking on water. Unless we take that one step of faith, we will never know that we can do what God is calling us to do. And even if that means walking on water, but friends, it's going to take courage. It's going to take courage to take that next step, believing in the word of God. Um, so I just want to encourage us, be bold, be courageous. And God's word says that the righteous are bold as a lion. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you uh, that we as your children are confident in your word. Lord, thank you that your word will never fail. Heaven and earth will pass away, but your word will remain, O God. So Father, I pray that courage will be stirred up in every heart and every life that we will be able to take that step of faith, Lord, uh, according to your word. And God, let great things be done for the kingdom of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.